Hi everyone. So um, tomorrow is a Halloween, and uh, I've been uh, on a roll with the, the same color combination, but just poured differently. Um, my two last videos were the exact same combination, exact, except on the first one there was white, and on the second one no white. Well, today I'm going with the same combination, but I added a fluorescent orange and silver. And once again, I'm going to pour it differently. I want to do that because I, I want to show how different the results can be. Uh, even if you use the same colors or pretty much the same colors. Um, so today what I thought I would do is use my bottle, the bottom of my bottle and uh, I would pour on that. But I will start by doing a base coat of black and um, I will uh, pour on black. Uh, my uh, drip painting on the black background, uh, I loved it, it popped. So I want to do that again and uh, try it again, but differently. I mix my paints uh, the usual way. Paint, GAC800 and water, nothing else. I um, do a, a one part paint, one part um, medium for the heavy body acrylics and I add about 25% water. I'm looking for a fluid cream consistency. And uh, for the inks and high flow, I do one part ink and 10 part medium. Uh, the inks are very, very pigmented, so you don't need a lot to tint your medium. And uh, that's why I do only one part to 10 part. And also, uh, if you put not enough uh, medium in your inks, it will tend to uh, crack because the inks dry super quick and uh, they will form a top film and crack. The medium prevents that and uh, that's why you need to add a lot of medium to your ink. Also, they're so liquid, the medium uh, gets them to the right consistency even though I added a little bit of water after that. But uh, that's about the reason why I do one part ink to ten part medium. Um, I will zoom you in and I will get started on that. So, I'm starting with base coat of black. I will spread it around. Do not need to have a, a thick coat, just a thin coat to uh, color the canvas and the to help the paint flow. Now what I'll do is I'll tilt to even out. And uh, here comes the bottle. Put it not quite centered. I think it's going to look uh, very interesting that way. And um, try to. Um... Oh, yeah. I want to do a dirty pour on that. So I'll just put the colors in order which I want to see them on a canvas. I think uh, green first. Then the pyrrole orange. And then the, oh, the silver. I do not care too much if they are layered or not. I want to mix them up a little bit uh, so it looks nice and mixed when it pours. That's fluorescent orange. And uh, finally, the dioxazine purple. Ooh. There's a drip of purple that I messed up. Um, yeah, let's do this. Mm. 
Let's turn it. And let's turn it again. And again. And one last twist. Now I remove that. I find that if you have paint on your gloves, it helps stick to the bottle bottom and catch it easier. Not sure um, paint gets sticky and uh, almost dry because the acrylic dries so quickly. But I quite like that, guys. Kind of a swirl, but a different kind of swirl. Take the rest of my black and cover my sides. I'll give you a time lapse as well, so you can see uh, the paint spread and change. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, that time lapse. Um, I uh, popped most of the bubbles. I will finish this uh, after. I'll baby this painting uh, until it sets. Um, there is no white in this painting. What you see, the white is actually silver. So I can't wait to see how that will come out. Um, can't wait to see how it will dry. And I can't wait to see uh, how it will look under a black light. Um, it was a pretty interesting uh, experiment. The dirty pour uh, created some uh, pretty awesome details, a bit like uh, the swirl technique, but just a little bit less. Some nice lines here, I really like that, and I like the smoothness between the purple and the green here. I got some cells here, but weird cells. Here, the lines with the silver, I'm sure that will look amazing. The lines here with the purple and the orange, uh, some cell shape too, but very faint. Um, the green lines and the orange here, very pretty, love it. Same with that here, it looks a bit like a feathers, it looks very smooth, very, very nice. The purple will darken a bit, quite a bit too, uh, as it dries, so it will look uh, barely different from the black, so I think it will create something uh, very cool looking. Honestly, uh, I can't wait for this one to dry. I think it will look amazing. It seems that there is a bit of silver um, just about everywhere mixed in. So that will look super interesting as well. Um, really can't get enough of that uh, bottle technique. Um, have to try other things as well. It's just uh, a lot of fun, really. Have some cells here. <laughs> With uh, the pearl orange and the fluorescent orange and maybe a bit of green as well. Huh. It's cool. I really wasn't looking for cells, but <laughs> I'll uh, enjoy the ones I got. They look nice and uh, I appreciate them. This part here is my favorite though. 
can't wait to see how it will look with uh, the silver and that as well as it dries the purple will darken Ooh, I almost put my finger in <laughs> purple will darken and uh, it will contrast even more with uh, the orange and uh, here as well is quite cool honestly it, I think it's a success this one uh, I have to try this on a square canvas I think it would look amazing I like the fact that it's, uh, it's offset uh, that way it's not going to uh, drip all around the canvas you'll see we will see the edges here and uh, maybe some of them will stay uh, we'll know once it's dry <laughs> Uh, but of course you guys are lucky, you get to see the pictures right away uh, in the outro, so <laughs> that's good for you, you, all, you all won't have to wait uh, very long. I'll have to wait two days <laughs> to, be, to see how it will look. Um, patience, patience, it pays. <laughs> and we're back! And um, so... Uh, my last three paintings were about the same color combination with just a bit of tweak, one or two color added or subtracted. Uh, I really wanted to show uh, how different uh, a fluid painting can be, even though if you use the same colors. Um, I think we got three very different looking paintings and uh, I'm really happy with all of them. I'm enjoying myself, <laughs> trying out new things, uh, experimenting, trying to show how different every painting can be even though you use the same colors. Uh, and uh, I guess we got three different, very different paintings. And uh, like I said, I can't wait for this one to dry. Uh, the silver will darken, every color will, will darken, but it will still pop uh, from the black background quite a bit, so it's going to be very interesting. And uh, yeah, so much detail in this one. I wonder what would happen if I tilt it, but it's probably an experience uh, for um, the next time. It's kind of cool too with the two oranges. We're not quite sure uh, where the fluorescent orange and uh, well where it stops. Uh, so it's going to be quite the surprise when I put it under a black light. I'm not sure where uh, the fluorescent orange is. I know there is some here, here, but other than that, it's probably hidden in the pyrrole orange and I don't see it. So it's going to be a surprise. Uh, I quite enjoy those. Uh, like when you look at a painting and you know that what I do is hide some fluorescent details in them and you think, oh, this whole orange is going to glow. But no, just some of it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, very, very happy with this one. Uh, the details in them, in it, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, and uh, can't wait to see it dry, really. <laughs> Super impatient with this one, but I'll have to be patient. That's the rule. So yeah, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Um, if you liked that video, give it a like. It helps me a lot. Um, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!